Yes, uh, filling the slip was something new to me. Um, we went to Australia one year and a few of our slip feelers got injured, like Viv Gordon, Roger Harper. And so we were playing against, I think, South Australia, and Clive Lloyd asked me to come into the slips. And, um, and I took a couple of catches. Um, and then in the test match, I, I went into the slips and I remember jumping my first catch because I didn't know what technique to use because I wasn't accustomed. And Clive Lowe was very angry and I said, wow, I've got to really pick myself up. And I very quickly made, made adjustments and um, started really catching everything that came my way. Um, it's just something that I quickly developed. I, I, you know, I, I studied uh, catching and I applied a, a technique different to most people. And it worked for me. You know, I was able to dive forward to the ball coming very quickly and stuff like that. Something that, you know, hardly anybody else does, you know. Um, but it was, what the, the beauty for me was to, I used to study our bowlers and I could see exactly what they're doing. Um, I, I could read their plans. So I would know when a catcher was going to come. So I was always ready, especially um, of Malcolm Marshall, you know, he was a great artist and I knew exactly how he was setting the batsmen up and stuff. So um, it wasn't easy because the ball was always coming at rapid pace, but when you're playing at, at the highest level, you know, you just have to rise to the occasion and do whatever it takes to, to perform.